International Women's Day has taken place on the 8th of March for over a century. The day is a global celebration of the social, economic and political achievements of women. It's a global event where people come together to champion women's rights, female empowerment and gender equality. Each year, International Women's Day is themed, and this year, the theme is Each for Equal. The idea is to promote the power of collective change in the drive for equality. The first National Women's Day was acknowledged in the US in 1909, when 15,000 female workers went on strike in New York City to protest poor working conditions, bad pay, and demand the right to vote. The following year, the Socialist Party of America declared the first National Women's Day in honour of the workers. It was first celebrated an International Day in 1911 when Austria, Denmark, Germany and Switzerland became among the first countries outside of the US to mark the day. In 1917, Russian women staged a strike for bread and peace, protesting against food shortages and inflation. This strike led to them being granted the right to vote. In 1975, the United Nations announced the 8th of March as the official international day to advance the status of women worldwide as part of its commitment to championing human rights. Her Majesty the Queen has asked me to form a new government. An extraordinary amount has changed for women over the past century. Women can now vote, own their own property and stand for office. What more could we possibly want? Well, while many continue to deny the necessity of feminism, there's a lot still to be done. What do we want? Equal pay! When do we want it? Now! In the UK, the gender pay gap remains at 17%. As a result of this, women work for free for two months a year. More than 200 million girls and women alive today have been subjected to female genital mutilation. Almost one in three women will experience domestic abuse in her lifetime. And women's reproductive rights are still being challenged across the globe. I don't believe in abortions, and he doesn't either. Just this week, a new UN report that analysed data from 75 countries found that 90% of people are biased against women, with a third thinking that it's OK for a man to beat his wife. Meanwhile, a survey of 20,000 people conducted by King's College London found that more than a quarter of men think it's acceptable to tell sexual jokes at work. There are lots of things you can do to support International Women's Day. You can donate to a women's charity, join one of thousands of events happening around the world and promote the work of other women. In Italy, International Women's Day is called La Festa della Donna and people celebrate the women in their lives by giving them bright yellow mimosa blossom flowers that represent female strength. In China, women are also bought presents and many companies offer female employees a half day off to celebrate. In Berlin, International Women's Day is a public holiday. And in the United States, March is Women's History Month and the achievements of American women are celebrated. And before you ask when International Men's Day is, I'd argue that's every day, but it's also celebrated on the 19th of November, so you can wait for that.